Also new tonight, a story that you will only see here on Channel 2. Several months ago, a passenger jet headed for Buffalo nearly collided with another plane about 10 minutes into the flight. Tonight, passengers on board are recounting the terrifying moments. And we are learning more about the multiple investigations into what happened. Michael Wooten reports in this Two on Your Side original investigation. Wednesday, September 28th, Philadelphia International Airport. It's 11:10 in the morning, and American Airlines Flight 5647 is about to depart. On Philly, carry up, cliff takeoff. The regional jet with 80 seats is headed for Buffalo. I was traveling from a digital marketing conference. Um, in San Diego. Joel Irway of Lewiston is in seat 1A, returning home after a work trip. You travel a lot? Yes. You know, unfortunately, it's a necessary evil for what I do. After a normal takeoff, less than 10 minutes into the flight, something went horribly wrong. Blue 6647 responding to an RA descendant. Holy. All of a sudden, the plane just took a, like, an immediate sharp nosedive. The plane went I mean, it dropped down. It, it put its nose down and then leveled off like it was avoiding something because it was. This was Flight 5647's route out of Philly. At almost 14,000 feet over Limerick Township, Pennsylvania, another plane coming from the east got directly in its path. They missed each other by about 500 feet. People were terrified. I mean, like it was, you don't experience a drop like that on any other normal flight. Olivia Robinson was also on board. Passengers were screaming, wailing. The lady next to me, we were holding on, but it was very scary. We did a nose dive and then we came back up. Luckily, passengers were buckled. A flight attendant in the front of the plane was not. She hit the ceiling. You know, she hit the, you know, the, uh, the roof of the, uh, of the cabin and then slammed back down. She hit hard. I mean, it was up and down. I mean, she hit both the ceiling and the floor. Hard. She would remain on the floor of the cabin, unable to stand on her own. The American Airlines flight was not diverted. It landed here in Buffalo and was immediately met on the tarmac by emergency crews. The pilot had obvious questions for air traffic control. Do you know anything about that aircraft that almost hit us? We've learned this was the other plane, a private seven-seat turboprop owned and operated by Matthew Desch, an experienced pilot who's the CEO of a Virginia-based satellite communications company. A spokesperson told Two on Your Side Desch was flying that day on a personal trip. He declined to answer our questions about what happened and referred us to federal investigators. You think there are systems in place to prevent something like this? You hope. You know, you hope that there's, I'm sure there is. To passengers, it can be a very scary event. Veteran pilot and aviation analyst Captain John Cox says in this near miss, the system designed to avoid mid-air collisions known as TCAS actually worked well, warning the American Airlines crew that the other plane was too close. When TCAS goes off, it will say something like, descend, descend. And when it says that, you follow it. The pilots did. A spokesperson for PSA Airlines, a subsidiary of American, said, we are proud of the actions our crew took to ensure the safety of our customers and their fellow crew members. Joel talked to the captain as he exited. I thanked him. You know, I don't know who's at fault, and I'm not trying to place any blame, but I was just grateful to get, get down safely. Was it difficult to, yeah. to get on, the, yeah. on a plane again? Yeah, yeah. I was definitely nervous. Captain Cox says that's natural. He was involved in something similar years ago while flying to Orlando. TCAS saved him. We would not have seen the airplane, and I, it bothers me to think about how close we would have been. How rare is a near miss like this? We see near misses usually a little bit further apart than this one. This one got closer than most. How do you prevent it, I guess is the question. Well, I don't know that we're going to prevent it the thing that we have to do is in, is continue to train pilots to, if TCAS goes off, follow him. He says there are only a handful of near mid-air collisions per year nationwide involving passenger jets out of more than 9 million total flights. Still, it only takes one. If this system had not been in place, it's entirely possible these two planes would have collided. It's quite possible. The crew responded appropriately, so this is a success story and uh, more than anything else. Something passengers realized, though maybe not until after the plane landed in Buffalo. We made it down safely and, you know, I'm, I'm just extremely grateful for that. We came within 500 feet of a mid-air collision and I live to tell it, so thank you, Jesus. <laughs> That's all I can say. 
Wow. And thanks to her, we never would have known about this. Right. We just kind of ran into her and, and learned about it. And a cool footnote here, one of the people who invented that TCAS system yeah. that really was so instrumental in saving this, um, this plane and all these people, um, it was invented or helped to be invented by a Western New York guy, really? Joe Ethier, um, spent most of his career here, raised his kids here, uh, and helped develop that system, a true lifesaver. Uh, a real lifesaver. Yeah. All right, let's talk about, uh, this is frightening for mm -hmm. anyone to watch this report. What about the, NF, uh, the uh, NTSB and the FAA? They must be investigating this to make sure that this stuff doesn't happen again. So the FAA has wrapped up its portion and now the NTSB basically takes over. They've confirmed that there is an investigation underway. Yeah. There is no preliminary information, which we sometimes get in other probes like this, right. um, or, or different types of investigations, right. different types of incidents. In this case, you don't get any Anything preliminary if it's serious enough and there's a final report we'll get that six to twelve months after the incident so mm -hmm. still we're couple still of months waiting away. for that and remember we're only as good as human beings with this equipment too right well remember one of these was a passenger jet the other was general aviation right. it didn't have the TCAS system that's right frightening stuff yeah. great report Mike thank you thank you